In this video, we are going to learn about quadrilaterals. So let us first understand what is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a closed figure which is made up of four line segments. So if we join these four line segments, the shape which we get looks like this. So this shape is called a quadrilateral. So I am going to first explain the parts of quadrilateral and I will first start with the vertices of quadrilateral. There are four vertices in a quadrilateral. By the term vertex or vertices we mean the corners of quadrilateral. So the first corner is A, second is B, third corner is C, fourth corner is D. So there are four vertices A, B, C and D. So the next thing is sides of quadrilateral. A side of a quadrilateral is defined as the line segments joining the two adjacent vertices of a quadrilateral. So that means we are going to join A and B. So that gives us the first side. When we join BC, we get the second side. When CD is joined, we get the third side. And the last side is DA or AD. Hence, the four sides of a quadrilateral are AB, BC, CD and DA. Third one is the angles of quadrilateral. We all are aware of what angles are. So, the first angle in the quadrilateral is ABCD is angle A. Second one is angle B. Third one C. And fourth one is the D angle. So, four angles are there. And how do we name these angles? There is another method to name these angles A, B, C and D. So angle A, B, C is the one which is formed at the vertex B. Hence it is called A, B, C, B, C, D. B, C, D is which angle? Which is formed at angle C. So B, C, D. Similarly, the D1 is called C, D, A and A1 is called D, A, B. So let's move on to the next topic that is adjacent sites. Adjacent sites are those sites which have a common end point or we could say a common vertex. So if we take A as a common vertex, then AB and AD are the adjacent sites. Let's take another common vertex. Let's say B. So we could see that two sides which would be adjacent now here are AB and BC. Very simple. So similarly BC and CD is the another pair of adjacent side and the last pair of adjacent side is CD and DA. Next topic is opposite sides. So opposite sides are the sides which do not have a common vertex. Let's understand with a figure. So in this quadrilateral ABCD, if a question is, we have to find out a side opposite to AB. So first we will see, AB is made up of which two vertices? It is A and it is B. Hence the side which is opposite to AB would be the one which does not have A and B as the vertices. That means it is C and D. So that is why the side which is opposite to AB is CD. And we have got one more pair of opposite side that is BC and AD. Next topic is adjacent angles. So adjacent angles are the ones which have got a common side. Earlier we discussed adjacent sides. So there we have a common vertex but in adjacent angles we would be having a common side. So in this quadrilateral ABCD, if we have to again find out an angle adjacent to this angle A, then we will first see that which are the two arms of angle A. So the first arm of angle A is AB. And our next step is to see this AB is also the part of another angle which is angle B. That is why A and B are adjacent angles. There is one more arm of angle A that is AD and AD is also the part of angle ADC. Hence angle A and angle D are also adjacent angles. So in other words we could say 
B and D angles are the adjacent angles for angle A. Next one is opposite angles. Angles which do not have a common side or in simple words we could say which are not adjacent angles. So as it was explained earlier that adjacent angles of A are B and D. So which angle is left? That is C. So angle C will be opposite to angle A. And if there is a question that which angle is opposite to angle B, then we will say it is D angle. So now we have learned what is a quadrilateral, adjacent and opposite sides, adjacent and opposite angles.